Hey everybody, hope all is well. So you see on the screen, it says, I'm gonna need you to go get grandma right now and pity cute, pretty darn quick. So here's what I wanted to discuss on this particular video. Um, life is business and we have to learn it. Life is business is not a hookup. It's not, oh, I vote for you and you do nothing for me and wonder why we have nothing. Life is business. The decisions that we make relationships, it's business. So here's something I wanted to touch on. I did a video about, you know, uh, about the fake Beware of the fake black businesses when actually it's not a black business. That's just who's out there. That's a power move. That's a money move. So here is something that I discovered. Um, sometimes if I see something going on, time permitting, you know, I'll kind of check and investigate further. So this one right here is geared toward me, Ma. I know in our community, we have a lot of dysfunction, a lot of distrust uh, for a lot of us. Okay, but we're going to have to start changing how we do things because wealth is literally sl slipping through our hands, through our fingertips and going on to other people in ways that sometimes we're not conscious of. So here's the deal I want to discuss. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen they'll have it through, let's say, some gas stations. Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, little convenience stores. So here's what. I realized, I uh, see, so let's say you have a gas station here and in business, you get creative. You, the objective is to make money. So when I hear some people that are not too bright, go, oh, to a black business owner, you're trying to get rich. Well, who the hell sitting up here in business to, to be in poverty? That's stupid. That's a no brainer. Of course you want to be successful and maybe not necessarily rich, but to make some money to take care of yourself, okay? So not everybody wants to just go to work and do what they tell you to do, okay? Some people want to, you know, they want to beat or dance to their own drum, be an entrepreneur, and I totally get it. I support you in that. So uh, let's say in this case here, we've got uh, a few gas stations, and I noticed that there were some gas stations, and boy, <clears throat> I began, they started making food, and then it's like, huh, that is interesting. That is very, very interesting. This moves, this food smells really, really good. And then you look at it. I was looking, I said, oh my, it looks like, you know, uh, like black grandma, you know, like something that, that grandmother would make. So <clears throat> in actuality, sometimes, most of the times, in these cases here, no, all the time it was grandma, black grandma working there. I'm talking from city to rural. So then I looked at this rural location. And of course, this black mama, grandmama working back there, you know, plump and looking, you know, as they said, look fat and happy, you know, very sweet personality. But I know that we are not taught business. And again, that's why when you're at the bottom, we are so in need of a job and, and money right now. We just jump at the opportunity, which I understand, but we're not always thinking things through. So here's what went down. Let's get to the nitty gritty. So in these locations, and I've seen this happen in about maybe three of them, guess what happened? They had black grandmama working there, making the food, okay? I said, man, I have to, I have to buy some of that. You know, I want to get some, this got gas and lottery tickets. I said, wow, this you know, really smells good. And I said, well, I should just go down there just for the food next time, you know, and have breakfast or something. Just for the food, okay? So it was really like that darn good looking at it. It smelled good. So uh, getting so busy, you know, I think once I did get some food there and it, it was good, I uh, went to go back and guess what happened? Gupta and company, they, Mr. Gupta, they had let Big Mama go. Huh. So I was like, well, who making the food? I'm like, well, the food is good. I did my investigative work. And uh, this has happened in more than one location. Did my investigative work, and guess what happened? Big Mama was back there making it. She has her own batter. Now, they hired her to make food. She has or had her own batter. Next thing you know, you know, all, all people have to do is smile at us. And I understand, you know, you want to keep that job. Next thing you know, she's told, uh, she's told them what she does, how she makes the food. Uh, 
when things get slow, guess what? They are back there and they are making the food with her, smiling and grinning. And then they practice it. Oh my gosh, they can do it on their own and Big Mama is gone. Yeah. And then I thought about it. Well, dang. And I think I did this video before. You uh, Something similar, I mentioned it. You gave them the recipe? And then I thought about the other place. And I said, wow, this is another location. And I kind of figured the same thing must be. Because why? They're making the food. Oh, and one of them even had like uh, fried chicken. They're making the food. And next thing you know, they get the recipe. They learn what to do, what we like. And guess what? Once they've got the information, uh, that black person is already gone. You've been sent home. They don't need you no more. This is why I say it's so important to build because you can think differently. Situation like that. And yeah, I did a video on like this earlier. Uh, I'm doing this video again because guess what? I've already seen it again. And I thought about it and I said, wow, everybody is just making, we're at the bottom collectively and everybody is making money off us. It has to stop. Things like this here, it's time to go ahead and say, well, if you're going to do a special batter, yeah, this I can't give this batter to you, but i tell you what I can do. Uh, I can make some and I can sell it to you. We have to think that way because all we're doing, I said, wow, so basically she's got that big mama uh, action, cooking action going on and you've given them the recipe, stood side by side to show them and now they don't need the, basically, you know, you just cut down their overhead and we wonder why we're at the bottom. Things like this here, I know a lot of us don't want to hear it. A lot of our people are, as they say in the Bible, it tells you stiff neck. You know, we want to do it our way and you can't tell me nothing. And guess what? That's the problem because no one can tell us anything. We're not listening. We're not observing, not engaging in critical thinking skills. And when someone does, we want to think, are oh, you always running your mouth? Well, guess what? Maybe that's a good thing because maybe you can learn some common sense critical thinking skills and learn to listen to someone who's trying to help you and get your money game up. And I thought about it. I said, oh my gosh, this is just absolutely, it, it's ridiculous. So this day and age, what life is changing. It's not going to get easy for black Americans. AI is going to be kicking your butts, kicking our butts and the employment. Um, I hate to tell you uh, when the immigrants get here, the, the same thing. You know, you can see it now where we may have been here ahead of time, but guess what? You're in, we're not the top of, at the top of the chain when it comes to being hired. That's what it is. A lot of people come to the country new, they're eager, they're bright eyed, and guess what? They're ready to go and they are getting a chance. They may not even have experience, but they are getting a chance. So we're going to have to have a, a conversation. We need to start thinking. And that's why I always say it's so important to build, okay? It's so important to think outside the box because sometimes when you're at the bottom, you just need some money so fast. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. I got to keep this job. And I totally understand it. But at the same time, we're doing that. We're just building for other people. And we're, we're all the jobs. A job, as they say, J-O-B, just over broke. I get what that means. So, yeah. So, in this case here, uh, I'm going to need grandmama. Somebody knows, needs to go and get grandmama right now and put it on quick and let her know some things, if you're working in this capacity, maybe with older people, just kind of see what's going on. But any extras, oh, no, no, no. You can do what they hired you to do. Do not build a business for somebody else. Do not build a business for somebody else. If you have an idea and you're doing something and it works, guess what? You're going to go give it to the business owner? Good luck doing that. They used to have a thing. Oh, go ahead and put in the box with some ideas to make this better. Uh, I told one person, uh, I'm not, you're not paying me any extra for any marketing ideas. No, 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 no. If you want some ideas and that's just how I am, I'm here to do this job. And I was, you know, in my twenties, I'm here to do this job. That's what I'm going to do. Any marketing ideas. I'm not going to how to streamline it. No, they have people that you can hire. They'll come into your business. They will sit down with your workers and tell them, let me see you work. What do you do all day? And they'll find ways to streamline it. They have companies that do that. So if you want to do that, you can either pay me, but me, that's just how I've been built. Uh, no, I'm not going to sit up here and just give you some free information on how to make it better. What's the incentive? That's above my pay grade. 
2022, it has to be about you. We have created wealth for a lot of people, everybody but ourselves. And it has to stop. It has to stop. We got to stop. We have we can't do like we did yesterday. That's played out. It's a whole new day. I A is not on the way. It's already here. We have to do something better. Uh, this that we used to doing, and you have to job over broke and do whatever they say. Sure, do your job the best of your ability, and I hope you excel. But when it comes to thinking outside the box, it wouldn't be very wise at all for you to hand somebody a business. It's just not wise. So in this case here, like I said, I thought about it. I said, wow. And I checked out the other locations. The same thing. Big mama and them is gone. It's gone. So what does that tell you? They've been they've managed to go ahead and say, oh, here's what they like. Here's what they like. Yeah. And they can hire you a little bit. And then you come to, oh, I can do something extra. That's being all friendly and happy to be there. I want to do something extra. Yep. You did something extra and they showed you and your extra out of the door. But the business and and how you do things is still there. What is the incentive? It's 2022. It needs to be about you. I don't understand you sitting around grinning with being broke, honey. You're not winning. We're not winning. We're smiling today and crying tomorrow. So this day and age, we have to get creative. Sometimes check in with older people, see how things are going. But this here, I'm going to need you to go get grandma right now. She's doing something extra with some kind of recipes or how she may have a side hustle going on. Guess what? Uh, that's not to be shared with everybody, especially your employee. What they can do if they would like to discuss that, they can go ahead and pay a consultation fee. I'm out. Thank you.